21 year old Cha Jun Huan on the ice needs to score 170 points if he wants gold here at Four Continents. He's done that in the past to be five points shy of his personal best. One last step toward Beijing for the South Korean Olympian. Junwon is the athlete here who is capable of delivering the technical goods as well as that second mark. He begins with a quad toe. Flipping off of his edge there. Coming around the corner, an opportunity to reset. For his next quad, a planned quad Saokao. Spinning out of it, he didn't really have the control he needed, but he stood up. Beautiful triple axle double toe. I really love Junwan's skating. I love his style of skating. My only complaint with him is that he telegraphs. You can really tell that he's going into a jump. He doesn't seamlessly connect his skating skills, which are flawless, with his elements, and that's something he needs to work on. Beautiful, triple S, half loop, triple sow. Headed into the Olympics, he came to this four continents to gain a little bit more 
experience in competition to be able to work with his coach, Brian Orser, in this competitive environment. And that's exactly what he achieved today. Was it perfect? Again, no, but that's what makes the men's free skate so difficult. When you're going after these extremely challenging elements, these quads, you're going to see those mistakes. It really just speaks to how challenging the quad is. And after that opening miss, it really was pretty close to perfect, at least technically flawless down the stretch. Should be enough to hand Cha Jun Wan a Four Continents Championship. I really love watching Jun Wan skate. I think he is a beautiful skater. Training with Brian Orser, he actually hasn't been in the rink with <laughs> Brian Orser because of this pandemic. He's been training back home in Korea, so they've really only been reuniting at events, but Jun Wan was saying that their experience with each other in training, they were able to make it work, and you see so much of Brian Orser's impact on his skating. This opening quad toe was really the only issue that he ran into. This quad style, you see he's spinning out on his edge, the judges are looking for your elements to be put down with control. You want to maintain that flow and every single element beyond that quad toe and that quad sow was really perfect. Judges are going to be reviewing rotation on a few things. His quad toe is going to receive an under rotation as well as this triple axle double toe. He will be getting a little under rotation there on the triple axle. You want that blade facing completely forward, but he brought it back with this triple axle, which was stunning. Where he's smart, he really makes sure that he has that nice running edge coming out of it. He gets that grade of execution on all of his elements, but his skating skills and his spins. He's a total package skater, and that is really effective in competition. You can't just be a technician. You have to be able to put it all together. His spins are fast. He hits interesting and unique positions that we don't often see in the men's discipline, and that leaves an impact judges will reward. This should give him so much confidence heading toward the Olympics in less than two weeks. I'm so impressed with him competing this close to the Olympics. There's a lot at stake for athletes like this. It's kind of like an everything to lose kind of a situation instead of everything to gain because However, you're going into the Olympics, you want to feel good. Less than two weeks till the Beijing Games. Cha Jun Wan will be there and he'll head there as four continents champion. He scores 174.26 points in the free skate to seal the win. This is so important for Jun Wan. You want to go into the Olympics feeling confident, coming fresh off of Four Continents. This is huge.